Hey everyone, so we are back in Art of Rally today, and I recently noticed that one of the courses in the Japan location is called Mount Haruna, which avid fans of Initial D will know as the real name of Mount Akina. Now, if you don't know, real quick in the series Initial D, Mount Akina is the most famous mountain pass that these old school toge drivers race down, and it's essentially what made the Toyota 8.6 the icon that it is today. And well, Mount Akina's pass is based on a real mountain road in Japan that travels down Mount Haruna. Now the map here in Art of Rally isn't exactly the same as the real thing, but there is definitely some inspiration here. You've got longer straights towards the top, interlaced with a few fast corners and a few hairpins. And then, of course, the most famous part of the road, the five hairpins near the bottom, which Art of Rally makes a clear nod to. So, since the 8.6 is the most famous car to drive down Mount Haruna, and you can, in fact, drive a rally spec version of the Trueno in Art of Rally, I have taken it upon myself to become the ghost of Akina and hold the world's fastest downhill time in the 8.6. Alright, so I have driven this course in a few other cars. I did it in the Impreza, which again, if you know Initial D, you know that's a pretty famous car on this downhill too. Uh, but this is only my second time doing it in the 8.6. So right now, I just want to learn the car on this track and set down a decent time. On my last run, I got right around 3 minutes and 4 seconds, but that lap was pretty bad. So I'm shooting now for just under 3 minutes and then we'll go from there. So this was the first lap I realized I should probably start recording my attempts here. Uh, so this one is not going to be live commentary or anything, this is just previous recording. And uh, afterwards, editing the video hokey is the one talking right now. But I actually think this is a good thing because it gives me a chance to kind of talk after the fact uh, and show off just how the course works and some of the little tricks I've found out. Starting right here, you'll notice there's a bit of a jump if you cut that. There's actually still a jump if you don't cut that. Uh, so it's best to cut it. This section right here is really, really tricky. There's a little bit of an uphill before that downhill and then hairpin. If you break before the uphill, you actually break too early, but you don't get another chance to break until the car has settled after kind of coming off that decline. So that's actually a pretty tricky section. After that, you can pretty much treat the next section as a straight and that second gear corner uh, is actually it's a ton of fun and pretty easy. This is another really, really tricky section that in this run, I feel like I did pretty well. So there's that one uphill corner there and then another uphill corner here. And those really mess with you in Art of Rally. So you have to take them uh, with a really, really good line or just make sure you slow down beforehand. Uh, so I think I did pretty well there. Now here you will see if I'm remembering right. A little bit of oversteer, a little bit of overcorrection, and I'm off into the ditch. So bummed about that one. I was doing really well. I felt that run. It was definitely a sub three minute time, but it wasn't meant to be. So we head back to the top of the mountain and give it another shot. Okay, so with this first section, I learned that it's really important to try and keep your grip as much as you can. It's really tempting, especially with this car, uh, to want to just drift these first three corners but you'll be much faster if you keep your grip. Now this little left-hander right there, uh, you might have noticed the car unsettle a little bit. There's actually a bit of a, I don't wanna call it a terrain glitch, but there's a bump in the road there uh, that can really screw you up. So be careful and go straight on that for sure if you're giving this a try. Uh, these two hairpins here, super fun, super easy, but right after the hairpin, I kind of undercorrect and run into the guardrail, which Normally I would probably keep the run going, uh, but that is the start of a pretty quick section. So slowing down right before that and not carrying some speed will really slow down my total time. So it's time for a fresh run and this was actually the first one, if I remember right, that I made it the whole way down uh, after getting that 3 minutes 4 seconds time. You can see obviously I'm not doing great, I hit that guardrail there, uh, but that didn't slow me down too much. This little high speed section here is actually pretty tricky, but if you manage kind of the balance between drift and grip, I feel like that's the best way to tackle it. Uh, again here, hairpins are super fun, and I hit that spot again, but I decided to keep going because uh, I had hit it right before and just figured what the heck, I gotta make it down and get some more practice later on. This section here, I felt like I nailed that. Uh, it's a really high speed section with some pretty quick corners, but if you cut just right and keep that grip, 
you'll be okay. Uh, there I overcorrected and went into the sand, or the grass a little bit. Now coming into this high speed straight right before the hairpin, I don't really remember how I did on this one. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. I think I started to figure out here that I don't need to downshift all the way into first. If you just stay in second, uh, you can carry some more speed, which really helps for that straight. And then this corner, uh, which again, feel like I did that one pretty well. I could have stayed on the road a bit better. Uh, if you don't play the game, as soon as you get any tire off the road uh, into the grass or sand or snow or whatever, the game really slows you down. So you want to make sure you keep all your four tires on the road uh, unless you need to cut a corner, in which case, obviously, it's more advantageous for you to just cut the corner and keep your speed that way. So here we've got, I think, what is the tightest section in the whole map, this hairpin, and then that really, really tight hairpin here, which is where I messed up that first time, and I messed it up again. Clearly, I'm not learning from my mistakes, uh, but I at least learned to settle the car back and then keep on the power so I can make it down the whole dang track. Here we have the famous five hairpins. I think it's actually only four or maybe six, kind of depending what you count uh, in this version of the map. Either way, this is the section where I can't really tell whether or not I'm losing a lot of speed or not. It's easy and pretty quick to drift, but I'm not sure if I should just be braking and then uh, keeping my grip through those corners or if drifting is just faster. I mean, this isn't a full sim uh, and drifting is pretty quick in this game. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, then coming in through the town here, it really helps to cut a few of those corners and then keep speed up through that right hander, which is really scary because there's that hay bale right on the inside apex of that corner. And then we finally come to this pretty high speed section, which I need to start to learn to go full out on, but it's still just too scary. You wanna cut that kind of tighter left hand, cut this final left hand corner, and to the finish. I got well under my goal of a sub three minute time and that placed me at number 11 on the overall global leaderboard for group four. And the fastest 8.6 is at position four there at 254.296. So I am now definitely within reaching distance of that time. And when I realized how close I was to that top time, I went ahead and started to do some live commentary. So let's go ahead and watch that. Take it away past Hoki Hoshi. Hey everyone, so I am currently on a mission to set the world's fastest time in the 8.6 down Mount Haruna in Art of Rally. And I had originally planned on getting some practice in this evening uh, and then making a video on this tomorrow, but I am definitely uh, way closer to the top time than I expected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start filming my runs here just in case I do happen to make it tonight. Uh, I feel like it might happen. My fastest time is like a 257 something, uh, and the world record time for the original, which is what the 86 is called in this game, is like a 254, a low 254. So I am shooting to beat that time. I feel like I'm losing a lot of my time during this first section. Uh, it's really tricky to, nope, nope, nope. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and restart. Uh, that first section is where I feel like I'm losing a lot of my time because the elevation just messes with you and you always kind of fly to the outside. I'm doing it right now. Uh, and then I just want to be to the outside of the corner, get some grip and not drift. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Uh, get over that section. That is really, really tricky. There's like a little hump in the road right there. Uh, cutting this, I think this is kind of how I want to take that. There's definitely a faster way to do that, but eh, so be it. All right, I feel like I've got these hairpins kind of on lock. Uh, the A6 is actually amazing at doing these hairpins. Uh, some of the other four-wheel drive cars, especially later in the game, you really but <laughs> Okay. Oh man, I have hit the outside of that so many times. Oh, that's scary. Uh, this spot is super, super scary as well. Oh, that actually worked out really, really well, carrying a lot of speed through there. Okay. Uh, this section, if you don't take it right, there we go. Uh, you can actually get really tripped up. You can see my car left the ground right there, and it really can trip you up. This can also trip you up right here. Yeah, okay. I, I have never cut that before, but I guess that actually is probably the fastest I've ever taken that. Maybe I should start cutting it. Uh, this is really easy section. Really, really fun. You just brake really hard after going super fast. I usually don't drift that much. Oh, that was actually pretty sweet. Um, and then, okay, this spot is super, super scary. Okay, 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 that was actually not that bad. Uh, that's start one, part two here. 
definitely could have taken that on the inside a bit more, but I made it past it. Oh, that is one of the scariest parts. Okay, I've gotten tripped up here too. Uh, you can actually keep drifting that whole section and kind of link this, but probably faster to stay in grip. Uh, I'm learning though, just stay in grip through this whole thing, don't mess up. Uh, you can definitely get a little bit oversteery through that section. This, I know I can just full, I know I can full speed through that section, uh, but I'm just too much of a baby to do it right now. Uh, and then the little hairpins, these, I don't think I've really messed up that much on at all yet. Um, I just don't know if I should be keeping in grip or if I should be drifting these. I mean, that, okay, that one was actually pretty quick. Uh, this one right here is definitely a second gear one. But you just want to make sure that you're not understeering too much. I don't know, this is a tricky section. I mean, it's easy to make it through. Uh, okay, coming up here, cut this. And I think if I cut this, oh, that was actually a little wider than I wanted it to be. Okay, this part's scary. Alright, that one actually wasn't too bad. I've cut that in way, way, way worse spots. And then this spot, we want to just keep our speed up. I know I can go full throttle there. I just know it. Uh, but again, I'm too much of a baby to do it right now. I'm just too scared. Alright, uh, what are we at? 252? Oh my gosh, okay. We're going to do pretty alright here. What do we got? 256! Okay, what do I got? Alright, so I was just number 11. Now I'm number 7. How far is that? So 256. Less than 2 seconds, right? Yes, okay, so I've got less than two seconds to the fastest time. Remember, I'm not going for global number one in the turbo brick, trying to beat uh, the other original. And I'm getting so close. All right, I think one more good run can do it. I can take out two seconds out of that time, no problem. I just have to be able to do it consistently, put the whole thing down in one good run. Oh, I think I might actually make this tonight. Okay, um, I gotta get serious about this. Alright, uh, let's restart. Alright, I really want to get like these first three corners down. I just, I feel like I'm losing probably a full second just not getting this. Okay, that was a little bit better. Keep grip, keep grip. Alright, this is actually going super well. This one's tricky though. That's not too bad. Okay, a little bit of throttle management. That's all you need. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was just about to be it. All right, it's okay. It's still early if I need to reset. Oh man. All right, I'm getting a little bit scared on this one. I just need to relax. Let's get back into the vibe a little bit. I should probably lean back a bit more. Uh, okay, this section, there we go. If I can stay outside so you can keep a lot more speed here and you can just cut, I can probably be pretty fast through here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was probably the best I've ever taken that section. I'm a little out wide. Oh wow, okay, I cut way more grip there than I thought. Ooh, and I cut that a little bit more than I thought too. I've taken that probably a little faster, but that was not that bad. Okay, this section, I'm gonna try breaking after. Okay, that actually worked pretty okay. I've probably done that faster too, but that's not too bad. It's so tricky, if you break before that little uphill section, uh, you break too early, and then if you break after the uphill or after the downhill section, rather, uh, you break too late. So it's like, where are you supposed to break? Okay, trickiest section coming up here. Oh, I'm being such a baby. All right, that, that can be done so much faster, but I just cannot do it. All right, that was actually pretty good. See, I cut that way better than I did last time. This section, all right, I gotta grip it. Ooh, a little bit on the inside there, that's okay. I feel like I'm probably not losing too much time here. I wanna see somebody do that section faster. Oof, okay. Uh, let the weight get a little bit out of hand there, but that's okay. That section, I know I can gain a little bit of time. Here we go. If you start on the outside of these hairpins and then kind of gas your way to the inside of them, uh, with a little bit of drifting. I mean, I guess this is actually a pretty decent amount of drifting. I think that's probably the fastest way to do them. Pick up some speed, pick up some speed break. So see that one? I cut the apex way too early, uh, and then I just have to be on the gas later. Oh god, I'm understeering. I actually set me up in a pretty good spot there. Cut this. Yeah, I cut that way better than I did the last time. Let's go, let's go. Oh! Oh no. See, that's, I don't know if you saw that because the crowd kind of hides it. I was millimeters from hitting that hay bale. Oh, 
That's so scary because it's right at the end. This is a good run. Last, what was I at? Like 252 right here last time? Oh, this could be it, guys. This could be it. No. No. Oh, okay. That's not... Oh, wow. I didn't even... Did I not gain a place? Okay. Oh, my gosh. I think that could have been it. I just kind of clipped that final corner just a bit too much, and it kind of unsettled the car, and then I couldn't give it gas. So I am like half a second behind the fastest time. Oh, I got this, guys. This is happening tonight. I will become the ghost of Akina. All right, let's do it. I just got to put down one clean lap. I mean, even on that last one, there's so many spots where I know I'm messing up, and then definitely some other spots where I probably don't even realize I'm missing so much time, but I just, I have, what, half a second to make up? I know I can do it. I know I can do it. This is, oh man, this is actually feeling really fast. Look how much grip I just had. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. That got a little bit scary. No, 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 no. <gasps> no. <laughs> wow, that was actually, hey, check this out. There's the five hairpins. There's a little town. The finish is over there to the left. Oh, this is cool. See, it's a good thing, guys, that I crashed. All right, let's do this again. Okay, I'm gonna try and shut up a little bit more during this one. I've learned, especially from like doing the very small handful of live streams that I've done, uh, talking and driving is weirdly a really bad idea. It, okay. This is actually feeling pretty good. I'm getting distracted looking over at the left side of the map there. It's so cool. I've never really, ooh. See, I told you I was getting distracted. <laughs> I've never really noticed uh, that you can see like the whole end of the map. Kind of the whole like last third of the map from that one point. Oh geez, all right. I said I was gonna shut up. This doesn't feel that fast. That first section was pretty quick. This is going pretty well. Ah, I should have downshifted right there. Yeah, this is just not the fastest I've taken this. We're gonna break late again. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. See, if you just, if you don't go all the way down to first, you can carry just enough speed. There we go, there we go. Look at that inside clip. All right, I'm hitting the gears right. How am I gonna do, how am I gonna do? Inside, inside, there we go, speed, speed, speed. <gasps> oh yes, all right, that's probably the fastest I've taken that. Yes, oh God, it gets so scary when you get up on those two wheels and you just can't add any power until the car settles back down again. There we go, hit that outside, come, this is, ah, I should've gone a little bit faster right there. There we go, there we go. Just slow and steady wins the race. I think I remember Jeremy Clarkson always telling the uh, star in a reasonably priced car that if you drive, or if it looks slow, you're going fast. So I guess maybe I'm going fast. This is at least pretty consistent. See, this is one of those times where you just need to tap, tap, tap the e-brake a little bit. It's tricky, but sometimes you just understeer. And I, I probably should just start it with a bit more angle in this rear wheel drive car because I know I can kind of power over, but you don't want to get to the outside of the corner. Here we go. Uh, I oversteered a little bit on that one. Oh, that was a good cut. Okay, here we go. Let's, this is the last spot I can mess up. Whew, all right. I took that pretty safe, but sometimes you just got to do it. Ah, getting a little bit drifty. That sets me up though. Okay. Easy. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is actually looking pretty fast. Here we go. Good cut, good cut. No! No, 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 no! Yes! I think I did it! I did it right! Yes! Oh! Oh, that was pretty good too! Beat him by like a third of a second. Oh, no way! I did not think that was gonna be the run. Oh, I was saying it the whole time, you just need to be consistent. I didn't mess up anything that bad. Oh, I can get more time out of that for sure. Oh my gosh. All right. So yeah, we're going to pop up the replay here. I'm going to rewind through this. Uh, actually, I'm just going to, I'll see you in like two seconds. I'm going to rewind this whole video and then just uh, start talking again when the replay restarts. Oh my gosh.
Well, everybody, goal accomplished. I have officially set the record time in the 8-6 down Mount Haruna, aka Mount Akina. Uh, and I guess with that said, I now challenge you all uh, to beat that time. I mean, you were here during the process. You've seen, I've definitely done some sections faster. Oh, it's kind of funny, it still has those flags uh, torn down. Uh, but anyway, yes, I've, I've definitely done some sections faster. There's got to be probably at least three or four more seconds to take out of this, I would think. Um, so if you are on Steam, if you're playing this game, seriously, hop in the uh, original, it's called. It's in Group 4. Sadly, it is the last car you unlock. I don't think you can drive it in Time Attack until you unlock it. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but either way, seriously, guys, try to take down this time. Uh, I was not expecting to accomplish this tonight like I did. So, so happy I did it. Uh, this feels awesome. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't do it at night, uh, it's because the night leaderboard follows the same as the day leaderboard. Oh, look at that jump. That was so cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the night leaderboard is the same as like the morning, the afternoon, and the evening leaderboards. I think the only leaderboard that's different... Uh, sorry, the replay's messing up there. The only leaderboard that's different is the rain leaderboard because it actually messes with the traction but if you're like driving in fog or night you are you are still competing against the same people that uh drive during like good clear day conditions so if you're trying to set a world record you may as well just drive in the best condition uh and come on look at this this is beautiful uh, oh man all right guys uh well that's gonna do it for me i'm sure in editing uh i will have a better wrap up to this video i did it all right, somebody take me down. All right, folks, uh, thank you for bearing with my live commentary. I can get pretty rambly some of the time, but uh, I was just really excited, and uh, I'm not very good at talking and playing games at the same time, so I hope that was all right. Uh, this video definitely went on a little bit longer than I was expecting it to, but I hope you enjoyed it. With that said, uh, grab this game if you don't already have it. It's phenomenal. It's so much fun, and if you do have it, you know what time to beat. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.